Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be on 10 unique things Arkham Mobile has that other platforms such as Xbox, PlayStation, PC, Nintendo Switch don't have. Arkham Mobile is such an amazing game and we are so lucky to have features that other Ark players don't get to have. Before we get into today's video, I wanted to make sure that you're subscribed. It really does help the channel out and we are trying to reach 1000 subscribers by June 3rd. I hope you enjoy the video and let's get into it. Arc Mobile is very lucky to have the option of dungeons. Dungeons are to replace the boss fight from other platforms and prove if you are worthy enough to get to the boss in Arc Mobile. Dungeons are available to every player once they reach level 40. The dungeons rotate each week, so make sure you look at a map before you go in. Eerie Candy and Eerie Creatures are a custom feature in Arc Mobile. Eerie Creatures usually only spawn in dungeons, but every once in a while there will be an option in the server settings which the owner can then turn on Eerie Spawn. An example of what an Eerie Creature looks like is the Giga in front of me. A section of the creature's body changes colors. Eerie Candy is meant to be used as an imprinting buff for babies. It gives the baby an instant imprint if you feed it to the baby. However, if you eat Eerie Candy, something magical might happen. Maybe pooping out an egg, seeing rainbows, or you can change body colors. And apparently, this Eerie Candy really wants me to see rainbows right now. And then, there we go. We changed colors and it looked just like that. Unlike Ark on other platforms where you have to buy the maps, Ark Mobile has to have a shop where they can get their profit from. This shop ranges from many different items like cosmetics, engrams, tech items, crafting branches, and many more options. Here are a few of the cosmetic options I own. The currency of the game is called Amber. This is used to buy items in the shop. It can also be used to crush into potion dust and used for bait. There are sometimes promo codes that are dropped in the art discord by art creators. You can then put in a promo code and get amber or other items. Arc mobile admin console is different from Arc's admin console on other platforms. For single player, you have to buy the admin pass. In unofficial servers, you have to put in a code made by the owner. There are two admin consoles on unofficial. This one right now is my favorite because it shows the server stats who's on and who's banned. You can also kick people or ban people and send messages to the whole server. Arc Mobile has the option to revive dead creatures. So if you ever feel bad that your otter is dead, then just grab its implant and go to a revival platform or obelisk and revive it. This little fella is interesting. It looks like he mixed an oven with a grill and put LED lights on it. If I'm being completely honest, I still have no clue whatsoever what this crafting station does. I just know that there is an option to make toast, so I'm going to rename this the toaster. I've tried to figure out what it means by use active implants and element to mold kibble, kibble into other forms, but I've had no luck. However, I will put some more time and research into this item and share with you guys what I found out in the future. Arc Mobile is lucky enough to have one unique creature, and I must say it's pretty insane. Everyone knows that the unicorn is in Arc, but Arc Mobile had to step it up and make a fire unicorn called the Noctis. Basically, the Noctis is the opposite of the unicorn in a way. It breathes fire, it jumps over lava, its colors are even opposite. The Noctis has a special ability where it can shoot fireballs out of its horn. The Noctis can only be found in a dungeon, but it is a 1 in 1000 chance that you can find it. I believe. However, there are special events where the chance is a lot more likely, but still, the Noctis is the coolest and rarest creature in Arc Mobile. Arc on other platforms has cryopods, which can pick up a creature and carry it in your inventory. Arc Mobile has the same feature, but instead, it's called Creature Chronicling. 
You can chronicle your creature by having two element and its implant. This these will last forever until you revive them, which costs two amber. As I mentioned earlier, dungeons are a way to show if you're worthy enough to fight the bosses in Arc Mobile. Currently, there are nine bosses in Arc Mobile, but two of them are lame and aren't unique. Each boss has a custom room where you have to beat them to get element. My favorite boss is the Argentustus. Thank you all for watching 10 Unique Things in Arc Mobile. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you want to see more content from us in the future, then make sure to subscribe. Have a great day, and sub the soup.